Welcome or welcome back to The Locker Chronicles. Today we're going to be going over my June TBR. <laughs> For months I've been saying I have been wanting to do an Italian themed book month and guess what? It's time. June is that month. Italy, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Would love to spend a summer in Italy. I went there in high school for like a couple days because it was a big trip through Europe. We spent a few days going to Rome, Pisa, and Florence and they were absolutely stunning and one of my favorite things was to just take the tour bus that we were on and just look out at all the rolling hills and the vineyards and just the back countries of Italy too. It was so good. So I'm kicking off summer by having an Italian themed book month. Well, at least there's th four books, four books that are Italian themed um, and they will be the for sure's. And then I have a couple maybes, hopefuls, a hopefuls. That's a good idea. I usually don't share my TBR because I am 100,000% a mood reader and I I'm also very much like type A, I need to check things off my list and when I tell people I'm reading a certain thing, I will read it but I may not get the same enjoyment out of it as if I was wanting to read something else. So that's so why I don't really do TBRs as much. The first book up I will be reading on my Kindle because I will be doing some traveling in the beginning of June. It's crazy. I keep wanting to say any other month but June. I can't quite believe that we're headed into June. It's so strange to me. Anyway, I'll be doing some traveling in June at the beginning um, and I want to make sure that I have travel appropriate books because I will be buying a book because I like to buy a book everywhere I go um, because it's a little bit better than buying a mug because I have so many mugs it's a problem and I used to collect mugs every time I travel but books make more sense because I have a nice bookshelf I would love to have an at-home library one day in the future hopefully the near future that would be fantastic so I collect books which is why I will be bringing my Kindle which gives me the opportunity to read Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch and I just have it pulled up on my Goodreads. Um, it's in a series but I believe they're all standalones and I would love to, uh, I mean I'm throwing the cover, I don't know what I'm going to show you but I love this cover so much and I love the other covers in the series however as much as I would love to buy them they're YA and I am not as into YA as I once was and I would rather own more adult books, um, romance or even um, contemporary historical fiction. I'd rather own those type of books than um, most YAs now. There are some exceptions, obviously. Um, I still have all of my childhood YAs over on my other shelf over there. On to Love and Gelato. It's about her, our main character is Lena. She is spending the summer in Tuscany. The blurb says, I made the wrong choice. Lena is spending the summer in Tuscany, but she isn't in the mood for Italy's famous sunshine and fairy tale landscape. She's only there because it's her mother's dying wish that she gets to know her father. But what kind of father isn't around for 16 years? All Lena wants to do is go back home but then she is given a journal that her mom has kept when she lived in Italy. Suddenly, Lena is uncovering a magical world of secret romances, art, and hidden bakeries. Ooh, yes. Oh, a world that inspires her along with the ever so charming Ren to follow in her mother's footsteps and unearth a secret that has been kept for far too long. It's a secret that will change everything she knew about her mother, her father, and even herself. People come to Italy for love and gelato, someone tells her, but sometimes they discover much more. And I will say, the gelato in Italy, unmatched. Unmatched. It's so good. Oh, I just remember going to one of the gelato shops and 
Oh, it's by the stairs. Why am I blanking on everything I know about um, historical <laughs> landmarks? But is it the Spanish Steps? Is that right? <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm so uncultured. Anyway, there's there's a gelato shop very close to there. And I went in, me and my little high school American self, and I got a couple of flavors of gelato and the boy behind the counter looked maybe a couple years older than me and he was so flirty. I mean, there were so many flirty, flirty boys over there. And he was so flirty, he gave me an extra scoop and made my day. So that was, that was nice. So love and gelato. Okay, on to the next. One Italian Summer by Rebecca Surley. And she is the author of In Five Years, which absolutely destroyed me. However, the end has already been spoiled for me for the most part. I won't do it to you, but I am was really looking forward to this. And now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure. Uh, pretty much the blurb of it is uh, Katie's mother dies. She's very close to her mother and they were supposed to be going on an Italian vacation um, and her mom was going to show her all the sights and stuff from when she was growing up. Now, and Katie's husband and her are kind of at a crossroads or just they're not getting along as well. And obviously Katie is grieving from the passing of her mother, who was her best friend. Katie decides to go to Italy and do the vacation that her and her mom had planned. And then apparently there's some time change in the sense that I think Katie goes back to when her mom was 30 years old in Italy or somehow her mom is 30 years old or the same age as her. Yeah, like I said, I was looking forward to this. However, I am more hesitant. Uh, Books with Brittany read this, I think a couple months ago and yeah, she, I agree with her. And even though I haven't read it, I agree with her as to why she didn't like it. And it's going to be the reason that I'm not going to be that much of a fan. I still want to read it. Um, I do like Rebecca's writing. So, and it's fairly short. Like, it is so short. So this will not take long at all. And I feel like the font is pretty good size as well. So this won't take too long. The next up is The Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany. I am very excited about this. This one's a little bit more chunky. And this is by Laurie Nelson Spielman. It is a curse that has been placed upon the family, this family, <laughs> of that the second born daughter will not find lasting love. Family meets up and they are gonna go to Tuscany and break that curse for the second born daughters to be able to find their lasting love, which I think it's gonna be great. I love, love this cover. I think this is one of my favorite covers Book of the Month has done, and it's even on the back. I find that so beautiful, and just all the flowers, and oh. Like when I think of Italy, this is what I think of, is just the fields and the hills in the back, and. A lovely, lovely, like, house is there. Oh, it's just so stunning. So, I'm excited for this one. Okay. And then, obviously, it would not be an Italian-themed book month <laughs> without Under the Tuscan Sun by Frances My Mays. Mays. Oh, I must have Myers. That would have been not correct. I have seen the movie like everybody else in the world, but I have not read the book and I have been wanting to read the book for so long. I've actually really wanted to listen to it on audiobook, but I can never find it slash it's never available when I do find it. So I ended up getting the book so, so long ago and thrift books and I still have the sticker on here. When I read Eat, Pray, Love last year, I really, 
wanted to dive right into this, but I didn't have it at the time. And then I had so many other books to read. So this one got pushed to the side, but finally it's summer again. And I am so excited to finally embark on this journey because I did really love the movie and it'll be great. It'll be so good. So I'm excited to read that. All right. So I have a couple hopefuls, fingers crossed that I get to them. I mean, my normal book pace is four books a month, but I have been reading so much more. So hopefully we can um, get through a couple of the hopefuls. The first hopeful book I would like to get to is The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I have had this on my shelf for so freaking long. It's astounding. And I have been wanting to read it so badly. And I keep saying I want to read it so badly. And then I keep reading other things and I am so upset with myself. Uh, I am very, very excited to read this. I really liked the, I mean, I only read The Holidays by them and I really loved that book. That was very Christmas themed and that's kind of what got me into them. I would like to read this and then um, the other really popular one, the uh, Them in Other Words or something like that would really love to read that one because I hear that's a friends to lovers trope, but this is, I think, a fake dating trope. I'm all about fake dating tropes. So I am pumped to read this, hopefully soon. So if it's not this month, I'm pretty sure it will be next month, <laughs> which will be July, which is crazy. So that's the first hopeful in the stack. And then the second hopeful in the stack is A Court of Mist and Fury. As you will see in my next reading wrap up for the month of May, May, <laughs> wow, I did end up reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and I am obsessed. I, I know that's not even everyone's favorite one. Um, so I'm very excited to continue on, even though the first one wrapped up really well and I would have been so happy if that would have been it, but I'm so glad it's not that we have a whole series. We have four more books, which is fantastic. So I'm very excited to read the next installment of A Court of Thorns and Roses from A Court of Mist and Fury. These are the books I am hoping to read in the month of June. Wow, I cannot remember what month that is. So, I will be doing a reading vlog. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a reading vlog on, oh gosh, on the Star Crossed Sister, the Star Crossed, the <laughs> Star Crossed Sisters of Tuscany. So you can look forward to that in the next reading vlog, which will be in a few weeks. Um, and then potentially a travel vlog at the end of next month. We'll see though. I don't know. I'm terrible at vlogging as we know. Yes, if you want to read this, if you haven't already and want to take part of the discussion, that'll be great. So keep a lookout for that. If you like my bookish content and this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see me and some more book content, booktube. Um, yeah, that's, that'll be, that'll be that. <laughs> All right. Respect others, respect yourself and do something amazing with your day. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>